Believers, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. If you know you are truly a believer, then this is the right place for you. This is Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will edify your spirit, that will build you up in the way of the Lord. And all the contents that we create on this channel are purely Christian content. So, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that each time we release any content at all, you'll be notified. The Bible says our faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that transforms your life. It is what you hear and you engage that brings result into your life. So please, as you're about to listen to this message, please, when you listen, make sure that your spirit, your mind, your soul is part of this and let your heart be open, open listen with a heart of faith, listen with a believing heart, let there be no doubt in your mind, let there be no doubt in, doubt in your heart. So as we are about to listen to this, I pray that this message will profit you in the name of Jesus. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message. God bless you. I'm seeing a door in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing there are chains tied to that door and tied to people. This is what the Lord is showing me. And the Lord is saying these people need to be set free now. Some of them are whole families. Some of them are individuals who have been asking what is the cause of this issue in our life? Right now, I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone who is tied by any demonic chain of witchcraft, I told your people that the price has been fully paid and I announce again to the realm of the spirit that every price for your liberty has been paid. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, be released now. Be released now. Bring them out. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh Sabaoth. Yahweh At the count of three, I'm seeing fire falling now. And as soon as that happens, please bring them out quickly. There are chains that are going to be breaking right now. Age long chains. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind, at the count of three, let those chains be broken now. One, two, three, break now. Break now. Break now. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Sakate pakato katsegeta. I command those chains to be broken. No matter how long they have tied you, tied your family, tied your destiny, in the name of Jesus, be broken right now. Chains of poverty, chains of sickness, afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things eating demonic things going to satanic places I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit 
remove names from covens in the name of Jesus this one I'm going to pray for you I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now one two three shout Jesus let it be burnt now let it be burnt now every ordinance every ill speaking every ordinance be broken be broken blotting out every handwriting be broken in the name of Jesus please bring them out quickly whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing close to you please bring them there's a reason I ask you to bring them the ushers are limited my apologies but please help them Chains, 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 chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry that is tying down people from that region? Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has hapakatoskiata that has tied you down. Be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing Kogi state. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families but right now in the name of Jesus by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ let that cause be broken now 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 I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach hear me I preached a message here last year called Ichabod there are many of you as you are standing now there is no dignity and no honor in your life everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness can I pray for you that veil I, I tell you I see the power of God resting on people right now every veil sitting on your head covering your glory bringing shame and reproach I tear that veil now 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 I'm hearing a name Jennifer Jennifer who is Jennifer Jennifer Alante Sobalokos Yadaba let me tell you if God locates you that's the end of it hmm. Jennifer I want to pray for you there is one of you I'm seeing that people don't rise there's a spirit I'm seeing like like stones this is what I'm seeing father I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny but right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus let that altar catch fire now let it catch fire now let it catch fire now let it catch fire now there's someone they call you junior your name is junior I don't know junior that's what they call you that's what I'm hearing in my spirit they call you junior I want to pray for you please make sure you don't tell lies if you are not junior sit back quietly so that we don't waste time junior there's someone the power of God is coming on you you walk in UBA 
United Bank for Africa, there is trouble. I need to pray for you. UBA, you walk in UBA. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I'm praying for that gentleman. You are a male. In the name of Jesus, every conspiracy that is about to lead to your losing your job because you came here this night. What God says to one, he says to all. In the name of Jesus, anything that wants you to leave what God gave you, whether it's a job, whether it's a position, I arrest it now in the name of Jesus. Junior. Why am I saying ladies? You are called Junior? Okay, Jennifer. Junior. Father, my friend, God is going to use you mightily, this man. Eh? I don't know you, but you need, you need God to train you and build you. But there is a mighty man of God that is coming out of you. I'm praying that the grace of God will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Junior, I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing one of you is like a spirit. And I'm seeing crying upon your mother's coffin that something happened and she just died. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you, Junior, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every pit the devil is digging for your mother to enter and die because you have come here, they are exempted from death. They are exempted from death. I'm seeing someone, you deal with metals metals is it construction or fabrication you deal with metals i'm seeing someone stand and all around him i'm seeing metals i want to pray for you for these ladies have i prayed for them jennifer please help them jennifer there are two of you i just saw light come on you and the Lord is telling me that everything that represents reproach is living right now in the name of Jesus. Believe what you are seeing, no, because what God is doing here, He's doing the same thing in your life now. He's doing the same thing in your family now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, um, the Lord is asking me to pray for someone who will be very fast about this and I don't want you to be embarrassed. If you are not comfortable coming out, that's fine, don't come out. But you are trusting God for male children. This is your prayer. You have cried this thing and cried. God gave you female. I don't know. But your prayer is for a male child. Ordinarily, I would not want to ask you to come out, but I'm hearing this in my spirit. God does these things as a witness so that men will know that there is a God in heaven. You are trusting God for a male child. Not that there is anything wrong with gender, whatever. Number one, make sure you are married. Number two, you are trusting God. Please, if I call you, let's be able to distinguish who is, who is um, coming. If I prayed for you in Jesus' name, you are, you are blessed. We'll take testimony shortly. Please, quickly, quickly, if you are coming out, come. If it's a spouse, you can come together. A lady is going to start shouting and prophesying by the Spirit. It is a grace that is coming upon her. And she's going to be used mightily by God for her family. Remember when the spirit that was upon Moses rested upon 70 elders. Listen. Let me tell you sincerely, my dear people, God answers prayers that you have come here openly i pray for you the women can place their hand on, on their stomach the men your chest or just connect by faith in the name of jesus i pray for you there's one of you i'm seeing something tie you that thing is about to leave you now i'm seeing something like a snake tying you let it go now by the power that raised christ from the dead 
it must release you now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying but the person the power of God is coming on is in the congregation every time you are pregnant you see snakes serpents and when that happens you must lose that pregnancy God is ministering to that person now wherever you are I stretch my hands whatever connects you to serpentine spirits that will not allow you rise in the name of Jesus be free now be free now be free now for those of you in front here because you have come by the word of the Lord and I'm praying for those in front but it includes everyone I see lots of people at the overflows in the name of Jesus according to the time of life may the Lord give you the male children you desire I don't know if you are going to believe this but there's one of you standing in front here the Lord is doing a divine surgery now I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach literally as you are standing in front here in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God right now may the lord do that supernatural surgery that supernatural surgery the lord is asking me to pray for someone you just stand and you start misbehaving for a few minutes people have been suspecting that you have um i don't know what the medical condition will be now but this is something like an early stage of madness you just misbehave you become disoriented a spirit comes on you and you want to remove your clothes you are an adult i'm not talking of a small child and i'm not talking of maybe someone autistic if there's such a person as that please come out i want to pray for you so that god will deliver you now for those of you who are in front here in the name of jesus according to the time of life go and return with your children in jesus name we pray amen and amen Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. I'm hearing the name Christopher. 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 Shani Sali Kabaruska Brendigidia. Sir, where are you coming from? East. Oh, yeah. I want to pray for you thanks don't feel bad eh but I need to pray for you I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin and I'm wondering what is somebody who is alive doing inside a coffin you see let me tell you we are intelligent people though. when we deal with demonic people we are not stupid people there is a place for principles and intelligence but if you walk with God and God opens your eyes to the realm of the spirit that's when you will know that evil is real Christopher I'm looking, don't be embarrassed. If God calls you here, it's because he, he's bringing you liberty. That you are looking at a man standing, but in the spirit, you are seeing somebody inside a coffin. What is he doing there? One day, an ordinary bike will just hit you and you just fall down and that will be the end of it. No. Anything that is plotting death for you, hear me, in the name of Jesus, like Haman, whoever digs a pit, may they fall into it. I say it again whoever digs a pit in the name of Jesus they fall into it Christopher in the name of Jesus I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead one of you will start shaking now very strong under the anointing not just falling shaking I don't know why but this is what I saw in my vision shaking like somebody's vibrating under the power of God and it's an impartation that is happening to you it's not deliverance it's an impartation by the spirit I stretch my hands now over Christopher particularly this man that I prophesy to ah you are receiving the spirit of wisdom there is a Christopher that is receiving the spirit of wisdom extraordinary results will happen by the wisdom of God in your life sir by the power of the prophetic I bring you out of every coven every grave in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus hallelujah there are many many pastors here many many pastors but there is a pastor there is a pastor that is I'm not the basement the other overflow the smaller one before outside there is a pastor there if you locate a pastor there please I want him to come I want to pray for him his life is about to change in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I'm seeing someone your mother sells food don't be embarrassed your mother sells food by the roadside this is a, I'm seeing a vision your mother sells food by the roadside but you are a diligent person and you want to move forward with your life this is what your mother does and she's been taking care of her family the Lord is saying I should impart favor on you I don't know who that person is don't tell lies your mother not your auntie not your relative your mother come one of the first laws of receiving from God is obedience you can't tell lies and want to come and receive there are some of you who want to come out for everything if it's not your word just be patient I've taught you on faith be patient God will speak to you he doesn't have to directly call my God something is going to happen to these people now Hi. This my God, this my God. Your mother is selling by the roadside. Please make sure you. Number two, don't be embarrassed. There's one of you here. You are living in the house of a rich man you know what i mean leave that house after this service because i'm seeing something that has to do with ritual with you i fear god though and i respect myself i will not hold the mic here before the whole world and be talking stupid things i'm telling you now this man sleeps with you that's your work let me just go straight i'm sorry for being vulgar i know we're talking to the whole globe but this is yours it's not like your house help or maybe they employed you this is your work i'm telling you this they are going to ask that man to bring somebody and he's going to bring you the house of god is like a hospital there are times you are performing surgery on people it may look messy but the truth is that the end is the health and the safety of the people hallelujah your mother I'm going to pray for you because many of you here you love God don't be ashamed though don't say my mother sells something and is petty and so on and so forth there is nothing to be ashamed of you are about to witness the lifting power of Jesus because for some of you the first thing I want to do here is to break there is a course that will not allow your family members rise and for some of you if I don't pray for you not to insult your mother but what she's doing is what you will still do even if you're a graduate i pray for you in the name that is above all names every spirit that will not allow you rise as i'm praying for them i'm praying for you whatever wants to keep you down that you will not rise that you will not shine that you will not thrive in the name of jesus i take authority over it now I take authority over it now. I take authority over it now. Hear me? Hence God called you people to come out here. I decree and declare the grace called favor that rests upon people and rewrites their story. If you believe this, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. You will return a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be offended, but I'm repeating this last prophetic word I gave again. You are staying in the house of a rich man. In fact, it's not even a house he stays. 
is like an extra house aside from his real house and I don't know what goes on there that is none of my business but I know that there's someone that stays there and you are not necessarily a prostitute but what happens there is in one word is prostitution I'm advising you by the Spirit of God get out of that place get out of that place your life is in danger hallelujah get out of that place oh your life is in danger in the name of Jesus there's one of you you have now I, I don't I'm saying this because this is church you love the Lord with all your heart and God has given you a good voice to sing but somebody advised you that you should not mind church people you should go and do secular music and you are about to start hear what the Lord is telling you stop you are going to be made to do a lot of things that will end up destroying your destiny you can serve the Lord and he can bless your gift and still lift you did you hear what I'm saying you serve the Lord just this row there are two people the power of God is coming on please bring them out this row bring them out why are they here pastors from everywhere or where I, I ask you are all pastors do you love Jesus do you know hold on please I don't waste my time praying for people as far as ministry is concerned honestly I love the body of Christ but I found out that there are pastors who generally don't love God they just want to make it for that one I'll just pray that God will give you an idea so that you go and start something and take care of yourself and your family the work of ministry is beyond getting something to eat and I respect all of you for your diligence to come is a word God gave me oh, the people down I want to pray for you my first charge for you is go back and re-examine what you are doing in ministry. If you find out that there is an approach that is, is not of God, you don't need to feel bad. Get away and do authentic ministry. Loving Jesus, loving... And it's not just a word for them. Please hear me. Hold on, please. If you are a pastor here, let me encourage you. The work of the kingdom is not just a means for bread. It's not just that when you apply for federal government work, there's no work. You apply and then you just say, let me get into ministry. The Bible says, whose God is their belly? If you answer the call of God in, in your life, it should be that number one, you love Jesus genuinely. Number two, you love his people. If you love Jesus and you don't love his people, you will manipulate them. Are we together? God will never trust you with people you do not love. And if the goal is just fame, there are many other ways to be famous. You can write a book. You can run and win Olympic. You can try Guinness Book of Records. There are many, many ways. But if it is the call to ministry, you must die to yourself. Hallelujah. And there's a reason why God called you people out. Some of you are already doing, I don't know what, what level of, I'm not calling all men of God, just the ones from that overflow. I don't know why. It may be because of one person who loves God. Some of you need to correct some things. Some of you need to adjust some things. Some of you need to delete certain things. They've told you this, how money comes, this. Your job is to serve Jesus. If God gives you only two members, love them. Serve them with all your heart. Take away competition and don't try to use crowd just as the index for me ministry yours is to serve God sincerely if you end up winning two people and those are the ones God sent to you you are by far more effective than the person God gave the anointing for 100 million and he won only 10 million hallelujah let me pray for you God brought you for a reason first let me cast out a spirit from one of you this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus don't be embarrassed my my dear people I decree and declare because I'm seeing something that looks like a black shadow. I decree and declare anyone that this thing has tied down that will not allow you to be effective in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be free now. Mm. Be free now. Be free now. In 
then I impart grace on you I impart grace on you this gentleman wearing white I'm praying for you where eh? let the healing anointing this is what the Lord is showing me may that grace truly rest upon you in the name of Jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you for staying to the end of this message I know your life has been blessed I know your soul has been blessed by this message and I encourage you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, oh, I'm saying, I'm begging now, oh, please subscribe to this channel. And also like this message you have just listened to. And also share with others. In that way, you're also doing the work of an evangelist. So, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Let someone know about Jesus, because... You are still breathing. God bless you. See you in another video. Bye. 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 <laughs>